here we go. No sense in putting this off. The battle to end all battles. Father versus son. And I am actually looking forward to this one. Unlike uh, no level 74 in Mario 3, I'm actually sort of eager to see how things are gonna turn out. 74, I want to postpone it, but I decided, hey, I'm there, so why not get it out of the way right now? But this is different somehow. So, spin the level 27, this gives me an idea. I'm gonna try setting up a calm mind, see? What, so what, how it's going to turn out. Maybe it's going to make all the difference in the world. Who knows? Alright, facade. And, of course, it's got no status, so it doesn't do a whole lot. Off spin does fantastic 60 base attack. And another facade. I got two calm mines now, so here we go. Psychic off double damage from two calm mines. And, of course, I also got double special defense. Not that it's going to do much good, because I think all his Pokémon are special attackers. So, now we got uh, Vigoroth. Let's see how this one holds up against the power of double damage! Psychic with Stab and 125 base special attack. Of course, it fell, and... Oh, wow! Slacking already! Well, that's going to be an anticlimactic ending if I beat it easily. So, okay, Gardevoir used Psychic. Let's see how much it does. Oh my god! I killed it in one shot! I killed what I consider to be the hardest Pokemon in the game in one shot. Oh wow! This is awesome! Now we got a Linoon, which is last Pokemon, as I said, pretty anticlimactic. Once, you know, once you've beaten the slacking in one hit, there's not much a Linoon can do. And, of course, Norman is all, HOLY COW, I LOST! Well, of course you lost! Okay, Balance Badge now. This is actually a pretty cool name for a badge, all things considered. Defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Misinformation, anyone? But yeah, I, now I have the right to use Surf outside of battle, which is going to come in handy really soon, as well as Facade TM, which is going to be completely useless. Okay, so I have no words for what just happened. This was a battle that I've been anticipating, almost dreading for a few months now, and I trounced him this easily, and meanwhile, may I'm not careful at all, and she kills my Kirlia. This, I, I still can't believe she did that. Of course, it was thanks to a critical, but still. Okay, now I think it's Wally's father. He's got the same sprite as Wally's uncle, I believe. Well, of course, I think it's his uncle on his father's side. That would explain a lot. Maybe they're twin brothers or something. But yeah, he's going to give me the, the Surf HM so that I can actually, you know, use that right to use Surf out of battle. And yeah, we get the idea now that uh, that route that Wally caught, which probably became a Gardevoir by now, has, gained him, has given him a lot of strength to move on. And, okay, HM03, sir. I am not going to have a water Pokemon on my actual team for quite a while, but I'm at least going to give it to Tanakul so that I can serve. So, we're gonna check out what she has to say. Oh, yeah, I think I know she what she's going to say. Wally left Verdanter Town without telling anyone. If he didn't tell anyone, how does she know by now? And... Well, probably because his aunt, his aunt and uncle already found out, and uh, this is an RPG and news travel at the speed of light. Okay, Surf HM, let's give something worthwhile to Tentacool for a change. Not that I'm ever going to use it in battle, but still. So now we can actually go use that shortcut on Route 103 now. So that's exactly where we're headed on the way to the Trick House to do Trick House number 4. And by the way, if you're uh, paying attention to my number of subscribers for some reason, I recently got past the 2000 milestone. And fun thing that you might want to know, there are actually three different 
Subscribers number 2000. There was the first one, of course, and then someone unsubscribed, so it went down to 1,999, and after that, someone else subscribed, and the first thing that guy did, or maybe that girl, but somehow I doubt it, uh, the, the first thing he did was that he actually bragged about it both by private message and on the channel's main page. Three guesses what happened to him, and the first two don't count. And, of course, that means we went back down to 1999 for a bit, and then, there, and then we got another 2,000 subscribers, and this time it was the real deal. So, just thought that you wanted to know, because it's not, it's not everyone who gets to celebrate a milestone three times. Well, maybe you can celebrate the new year. Uh, a couple times if you race against the time zones or something, but I don't see why you why you would do that, so that's not the point anyway. The point was that I got past 2,000 subscribers and I'm really happy about that, even though it's just a number, and I probably owe most of the recent boost to uh, Chugga, I involuntarily <laughs> linking to my channel through the related videos section, but... Let's leave it at that, okay? So, moving on, Sarah B mentioned on his site today that uh, the April 11th edition of uh, Pokemon Sunday was going to make a surprise reveal of the new games, which it seems it's heading more and more towards Generation 5. Not that it wasn't that way to begin with, but it doesn't even look like Cerebi's making an effort to hide it, because he's in the secrets of the gods, as we all know. So, yeah, it's... The, the odds are even closer to 100% than before. So, okay, you're being watched, so now there are no sparklies this time around. So what this means is that we're going to have to check every last piece of furniture to try and find where the guy's hiding. It's not the table, it look, that only leaves the windows. Okay, he's hidden behind the window. So as I was about to say, well, uh, Pokemon Sunday is going to reveal it on the 11th, but it's highly likely that it will, that Koro Koro will be leaked prior to that. I'm saying it's... Oh no! Don't tell me I need strength! Well, I think the best thing to do would be to put off uh, doing this for a while, because, well, I can't move boulders without a Tropius to move them. So I guess, hey, let's try going up the cycling road for a change. I, maybe I'll get lucky and show you exactly what I mean when I say I can do it without getting any collision. Well, there's one. And... That's it! One collision going up, and I don't think I've ever done less than two going down. This is just incredible how... It's either horrible luck, or I don't know what the hell it is! So now I'm on my way to go catch a Tropius, and right on the other side of that river, there's going to be a Fisherman. Yep, it's the one that gives me the good rod. So I'm gonna try and dodge as many trainers as I can, so that I can reach uh, Route 119 to catch Tropius with a minimum of fuss. I'll come back for those trainers later, of course. But, yeah. Okay, now... Oh, I failed to sneak past him. Well, guess I'm gonna have to fight him, but that's gonna leave me with some time to talk about what I was talking about before. That is the fact that Pokemon Sunday is likely going to get the grass cut right from under their feet, because usually Koro Koro leaks on the Thursday uh, that precedes its uh, release, so that would make that date April 8th. So that's in six days, and if it doesn't leak on that day in particular, it doesn't really matter, it should only be a matter of days afterwards, so it's going to have like this any second now vibe to it. Any second now, we're gonna have Generation 5, a concrete announcement, and I honestly can't wait to see the release date and the and also the platform. Uh, Masuda said back in January that it was going to be this year on the DS, but the hardware landscape changed a lot since then, with the, the 3DS announcement and everything. Oh yeah, Steven, I, I completely forgot that I was supposed to talk to him. Uh, so I'm gonna speed this up a little because um, I'm running out of time pretty fast, actually. And it's not like this encounter changes anything, it's completely su superfluous. So anyway, next time we're gonna try and catch Atropius. I wonder how difficult this one is going to turn out to be. 